I'm going to be showing you how to mount your GoPro, uh, no, well, one way to mount your GoPro onto the bottom of your spear gun. The need for this is um, this piece. Then you will need to get some type of epoxy putty. And this will be to fill the inside of this so you get more grip in the middle instead of just gluing it right there. Then you're going to need some sort of very strong industrial glue. That is, and make sure it's um, for plastic and it's waterproof. The epoxy putty is not so important that it's for um, it's for plastic, but just that it uh, it's waterproof and um, it bonds to uh, a lot of stuff. But before you put putty in this, you're going to want to roughen it up with some sandpaper so it sticks better. Now, the first step is... Um, this is with your GoPro. This came like this, and this was your GoPro is connected on that, sitting basically on top of the box. What you're gonna want to do is get a Dremel saw or saw, and then you're gonna want to cut this piece out and sand it down, uh, just so it's smooth, um, looks better. Um, and then after that you are going to want to make it concave on the bottom so see well my spear gun is flat or not it's not flat on the bottom and this thing was flat so you have to make it concave Oops. Uh, you have to make it concave so it fits on the spear gun nice both sides and if it's flat, uh, you don't have to worry about this. Like, uh, it'd be on a wood gun, it would be flat. But you might as well just screw this plate into the gun itself. So now that you have your epoxy putty open, and uh, you're going to want to read the directions to see how you mix it. On this one, there is a tube in the middle, and then you cut it, and it... There's two different types. You cut it, and then you mix it together. And this uh, makes it harden. It hardens fast, so you're gonna want to do this rather fast. It smells like tuna fish too. Okay, so cut some off here. Cut it off. Put this little keep fresh thing on there, like so. And take the plastic off. And then you want to knead this until it is thoroughly mixed. that up and then you're gonna want to take your putty put it in there sand some and if you want it to be smooth, you just get a cloth, wet cloth, and just wipe over this, and it dries smooth. Um, actually. And it sets in five minutes, and then it dry. It takes 24 hours to dry. So, I'll be back with you tomorrow. So now that uh, this piece is dry, um, see how it's nice and curved, same as the spear gun shape, so it'll fit, it'll be a perfect fit. So now that this is dry, you're going to want to get some sandpaper, and just roughen this up a little so the glue sticks better, so it bonds better. It smells pretty bad. Um... So now, roughen that up a little bit. 
And you're gonna wanna also roughen up um, your spear gun a little bit. I roughened it up right there, it's, it's kinda dull. Just a little bit so it bonds better. And so now you want to now you want to open your uh, your glue. This up. Um, and um, uh, so you're going to want to let this dry for. Um, 24 to 72 hours um, and now I'm gonna try it out this weekend so that's just enough time um, and for since these two surfaces are not porous um, you want to apply a, a thin amount on this on this piece and a thin amount on the gun let it dry and tack up for two minutes and then uh, bond them together so I'm gonna do this over paper towel, and you can use any um, any citrus cleaner to take off excess glue. Um, this is Goo Gone, probably acetone, anything like that will take it off. Um, now take this, punch a hole in the top, and they suggested you use a mask. Or something, but I don't have one on right now. Then get you don't want to like make eye contact and whatnot. I'm just gonna put some on here. This is just a part of a clothespin. Uh, put some on there. There's that part. And then put some on the gun. Right here, turn the camera. Okay. But uh, I'm just gonna glob some on there. this around in roughly the same shape as the other piece and what I did to um, get this shape so concave like that after I put the putty on the on the little plastic piece we cut out I uh, got it wet with my saliva so with like I stuck my finger in my mouth and like got it wet and then um I just put that on the putty and then pressed it against right here so it had the exact shape of the bottom of the spear gun. Smells pretty bad too. So let's let that and dry for a little bit. So, 
Okay, so this is uh, it's been about two minutes. Um, and one other thing, when you put the um, the putty in this, you want to scrape out excess putty underneath these little lips right here, just so you can be sure to clip it down. Okay, so now you're gonna want to center this as good as possible. Make sure it's where you want it. Push down. Make sure there's not air bubbles. And um, make sure it's on center. And it's straight. Um, so that looks pretty good right there. Um, well, now let that dry for like a couple days. And you'll be ready to stick your GoPro on there. Uh, I'll be sure to post a link. Um, for the video when I use this uh, so hopefully you get some great footage thanks for watching